Hi and welcome to another Watch Geek video. Today we're taking a closer look at the Tool Watch Co. Arctic Explorer, the first model of yet another Kickstarter brand. After spending a week with it, I must say I enjoyed the watch quite a bit. The first thing I like are the dimensions. With 38mm in width and just under 47 lug to lug, it wears great on my 6.7 inch wrist, while the thickness of just over 11 with the boxed sapphire crystal make it appear very slim. The titanium case also makes it light, creating a package that is ideal for day to day wear as most of the time you forget you're wearing the watch. The design is simple at first glance, but then you notice the details and it becomes a bit more interesting. When looked from the front, it is a simple retro looking case with a fixed bezel. Everything is brushed to cope with scratches better and overall looks like a nice looking watch, but a bit dull. Then as you start rotating to an angled view, it comes alive. You realize the fixed bezel is not your usual cone shape, but a sharply cut vertical one with the sides highly polished. Also the crystal all of the sudden pops up creating a very cool look. Overall, I like it a lot. To make things less dull from the front, they went with a meteorite dial and the press release says it's an actual meteorite, not an imitation, which makes it even more interesting. The markers are simple but unique, while the hands are excellent, long reaching their designated markers and easily distinguishable from each other not only in shape but also color. I especially like the seconds hand that looks like a harpoon. The text is a bit overwhelming in its quantity, but thanks to the fact that it is not brilliant white, it can get a pass. While the hands are very visible in the dark, I wish the markers were just a tad bigger and better loomed. They're still visible, but noticeably weaker than the hands. Also the use of blue loom does look cool, but green one would have been stronger. While this variant comes with a leather strap, there is a titanium H-Link bracelet as an option, and I would definitely go for that, or switch to a two-piece nylon strap, as it would suit the spirit of the watch better, especially given the fact it has a screwing crown and 200 meters of water resistance, meaning you can take this underwater without any fear. The case back is solid, again something I prefer with adventure type watches and has a nice polar bear motif laser engraved. This will be available in three variants with this blue dialed one being the cheapest at $800 retail or $400 if you join their Kickstarter campaign. The second one is black and the price goes up to $1000 or $500 while the most expensive variant has an almost white meteorite and is limited to only 10 pieces with a whopping price of $3,000 retail or $1,500 through Kickstarter. All variants are powered by the same Salita SW200, so I see no point in going for anything other than this variant. It offers the best bang for buck and personally, it looks the best as well. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and until the next video, bye.